Hello, and welcome to the first video episode of Wellness Wednesdays. My name is Katerina Pozzi Barada, and I'm the founder of Della Terra Wellness, the destination for people who want to live up to their healthiest, most vibrant, and well balanced potential naturally. This week, we're going to talk about the fear of failure. So, this is very relevant because I am not used to talking on camera and I'm super nervous and I hope you forgive me when I stumble over my words and my eyes shift to different places, but I'm going to try to stay focused. I'm going to try to get through this and give you the information that I think is really important. So what holds us back most of the time is a fear of failure, right? So we really want to be good at salsa dancing and we look at the salsa class in the neighborhood and we think we're going to go, but then... We're so afraid of stumbling over our feet and being the least experienced person in the room that we never end up going. Or maybe you do go and then you do stumble over your feet and you're so embarrassed that you never go back. Well, both of these are a mistake and I've got an antidote. So instead of being so afraid of failure, go into the situation expecting to fail. Because if you expect to fail, then when you do fail, it's not such a big deal. You knew it was going to happen, and you can just lift yourself off, dust off your shoulders, and head back in and actually start to get better. So first, you have to expect to fail. Secondly, you have to recognize that there are lessons within the failure. So first off, you're going to know what you like and what you don't like. So you might try something out, and then you fail, and actually it wasn't just that you feel really crummy about yourself for messing up, it's that wasn't quite the right fit. So maybe instead of a salsa class, then you want to try a hip hop class. Maybe that's really where your heart is going to sing and you're just totally going to get into it and you're not going to worry so much about being good at it. You're just having so much fun that it doesn't matter. And the second thing is that you're going to learn what works and doesn't work, right? So maybe you wore the wrong shoes to the class and then you can go back and you can try it with a different pair of shoes. Or maybe you should go with a friend and not alone. Um, these are just silly examples, but you can really apply this to everything in life. And third, failure should push you to improve. So instead of being so afraid of failure and so embarrassed about the times that you do fail, that you never go back, use those failures as opportunities to grow. And I know, I know, I know it sucks. I have had so many growth opportunities that I'm just, I'm sick of growing at a certain point. But you know what? That's what life is about. And if you use those failures as opportunities to grow, then you can actually accomplish something really great. So for example, I recently had my clinic exit exam at the end of my master's program. And to do this, you have to do a fake interview and uh, of a fake patient. And then you have to diagnose them and you have to say what kind of a treatment you would give them and yada, yada, yada. So I go in there, I had barely gotten any sleep and I just forgot to ask about, I don't know, five of the 10 required questions. I had totally, totally bombed. And I forgot to, to feel his shoulder, I forgot to ask all of the pertinent questions, and I felt so bad about myself. And the teacher even said, you know, I'm not sure if you passed. And it turns out that I did pass. I passed by a point and a half, which, thank God, right? But um, the thing is, if I had failed, I would have just gone back, and I would have been really good at it. And when I went back to clinic then, the next day, I was actually really, really good at asking the questions that I had forgotten to ask on the test. So I used that failure as a learning opportunity and I ended up getting better at what I wanted to be good at, which is much more important to be good in clinic than on a test. And I ended up getting better in clinic because of that failure. So I used it as a growth opportunity and that's what you need to do. So. Now that you've got these three antidotes, first of all, to expect to fail, go in expecting to fail, and secondly, knowing that there are lessons in failure, and third, using failure to push you to improve, I'd really love it if you would leave a comment in the comments box and let me know if you have a method or a mantra that helps you overcome fear or failure. So just type in a comment at the bottom of this post and I'd love to hear from you. The whole community will benefit from your insights and I'll see you next week. Bye.